Hello and welcome to the Styler introduction course. In this video, I'm giving you a brief introduction to the Styler principle. I'm going to show you the structure and the buildup of a magazine and how to create a story. We are getting started here on Amazon, our testing platform. It basically works as a community where users can have their own magazine. There they can create stories or like stories from other users and clip them to their own magazine to collect their inspirations. Right here you see a personal magazine with different kinds of stories. In your magazine feed you have a lot of stories at one side, which are automatically laid out in a flexible design. You are browsing through an endless feed so that it comes to an average time on site from 4.5 to up to 9 minutes. When you want to go deeper and discover the whole content of a story, you just click on it to open the detail page. There you can see more pictures and the full copy. Both layers, the magazine feed and the detail page are shoppable. The look of the detail page is what you are creating one to one with the styler editor. On Amazon, you open the editor by clicking the Create a New Story button on the top left. You see a clean and intuitive surface. The editor has a what you see is what you get system, so you can instantly see the outcome while creating it. At first, you have three options to start with. You can enter a headline, add visuals with your visual panel, or by just starting to type, you can add copy to your story. You can open and close the visual panel anytime by clicking the small grey plus or X sign on the left hand side of your content. Here you can upload pictures, add products, videos, connect to Facebook and Instagram and choose pictures from your archive. We are starting by uploading some pictures. So you click the upload button and a box appears. Now you can simply drag and drop pictures to this box or by clicking upload images your folder opens where you can choose up to 10 pictures at once to upload. The pictures will be loaded in one container inside this blue frame. Whenever you add more than one picture to one container they will be automatically arranged in a collage. Here you can change the position of the pictures by dragging and dropping them. You can always add more images to one blue framed container by clicking Add Images. Then the visual panel will appear. You can delete the whole collage by pressing the backspace key. Your uploaded pictures are automatically saved in the archive. When you add a single picture to one blue framed container, it will be shown in its full size. When a picture is 800 pixels or wider, it will fill the whole space. Smaller pictures are shown centered. When you hover over a picture, this black pen appears. When you click it, a panel will open where you can add a description, an alt tag, you can mark the picture as a product, link it or remove this single image. Once again, I am uploading some pictures. When you are adding descriptions to your pictures, they will be shown in a box underneath a picture. Also, when you change the position of a picture, the description will follow. You can add products from your shop by clicking the shop icon. Here on Amazon we are connected to an affiliate partner, but you will be connected to your own shop. By using the search function you can find any product that is in your shop. Your shop structure will be transferred and is always updated. So you can just type in the product that you are looking for or you can browse through your products in the navigation. Then you simply select the product and as you can see 
its description is automatically inserted in the description box. For creating a product spread, you simply add more products to one blue framed container by clicking Add Images. They will be automatically arranged in a grid. When you want to use a picture and link it to a product in your shop, you just upload it like any other picture. Then click the black pen, mark it as a product, type in the link to the product and press save. Now the engine will recognize this picture as a product. Make sure to also type in a description when you add a link to a visual. Otherwise, the link will be shown in the description box. So to make it look more elegant, just overwrite the link. The engine will always make a difference between normal visuals and visuals that you mark as a product. A product spread can be created by only adding products or pictures marked as a product to one blue framed container. You can also drag and drop the products inside your product spread. In the next step, let's add a video to the story. First, you need to choose a video from YouTube or Vimeo and copy its link. When you click the website icon, you can paste the link into the box and press enter. The editor is now loading a thumbnail from the video, which you can simply select to edit to your story. And also make sure to type in the description to overwrite the link. Instagram is also a great source for visuals for your magazine. You can easily connect by selecting the Instagram icon. When you click it the first time, the editor will ask for your Instagram credentials. Once you enter them, the editor will not ask for them again. All pictures from your Instagram account are shown as a preview. You can simply select a picture to add it to your story. Another great way to easily insert visuals to your story is the bookmarklet tool. You can find it on Amazon in your drop-down menu on the top right. You drag and drop the icon to your bookmarks. Now you can directly import pictures from any website to your archive. You just select the bookmarklet tool and then you'll see a preview of all the pictures that are larger than 250 x 250 pixels. From there, you can select what you want to import and by clicking save only the images, these pictures will be added to your archive. As a next step, let's add some copy. You can add copy wherever you like. When you open the content panel with the small plus, you will also see this blinking cursor, which means you can start to type. The panel will disappear and you can completely focus on your copy. I prepared some copy that I now copy and paste to my story. To edit the copy, simply select it and a panel will appear. There you can choose to set the copy to bold, italic, you can underline it, make it a subheadline or else h2, which is also SEO relevant, you can make it bigger, smaller or remove the formatting. You can also set it into columns, center the copy and or justify it. You can highlight quotes with this option. To link your copy to a website, you can select this option to insert a link, which you can also set to no follow. Once you are done, make sure that you entered a headline. Then you can go on to the publishing menu by clicking publish on the top right of your editor. Then this panel will open. From here you can still go back down to your story to edit your content. Here you can edit your title tags and meta descriptions, which are automatically inserted from your headline and copy. You can also schedule your story by adding a date and time. Here you can select or add categories to your story. You can also remove them. Same goes for the tags. 
When you start entering a tag, the editor will give you suggestions on similar tags that you already used. Here you can choose to make a featured story and upload an extra large picture for the preview in your magazine. When you are done, you have the option to directly publish the story in your magazine. You can also save it as a draft or discard the draft. When you add it to your drafts, you will find it in your dashboard under Save Drafts. From here, you can still edit or delete the story. All your entries will be saved. When you finally publish your story, it will be automatically added to your magazine. Stories are always added from the top and the older stories give place and also change the layout. When you open the detail page of your story, you will see that it has exactly the layout that you created in the editor. This layout will always stay the way you created it. Only its preview in your magazine feed is changing. Here you can also edit and delete your story. Your magazine feed has a flexible layout, which is changing whenever a new story is added. This is ensuring that your magazine will always look fresh, even when you just add one story. So one story can be displayed in many different ways, and also its perception is changing. The flexible design also ensures that your magazine is responsive and works on all devices. It will always look refined and beautifully layouted. With your tags, you can create separate magazine pages with all the stories with the same tag. You will automatically have links like this to these pages. The flexible design makes sure that the tag pages also look well layouted. So basically, the engine designs your magazine feed, but there are still some ways for you to influence its look. The engine always tries to show up to three pictures in the preview. By creating stories with, for example, just one picture, the engine can only display one picture in the magazine feed. Also, the first picture on your detail page will always be the first and biggest picture in your magazine. Other elements are added chronologically from the detail page. To create a product spread in your magazine, it is important to only add products to a story. You can achieve a great variety for your readers in your magazine by creating longer and shorter stories and alter mood and product stories. And in the end, you will have a gorgeous magazine to inspire your readers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that the informations were helpful for you. Have fun with trying out our editor and don't hesitate to contact us when you have any questions.